What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing pretty good. Well, a little bit uh, feeling uh, out of weather, but uh, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I've done a couple of things in between episodes, but nothing incredible except uh, maybe the power generation. Uh, I kind of needed more power because, well, my quarry for some reason was getting more. Well, it's actually because th these melons wouldn't. You know, spawn quick enough. Uh, so I made this here, uh, and I went with rotten flesh from our farm that we made in the last episode. Uh, this farm works really well. Uh, it sends all the biofuels to all those generators. I have the advanced energy cable, which can transport 5,000 something RF into our advanced energy cube, uh, which for some reason they they show in tooltip as being half in, like always empty, but they're not. Uh, and yeah, so these here still do, but they only work with the advanced crushing factory. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, if we go to crushing, uh, you can make the factory just by doing this. You need a crusher and then you just place this. And the other one was just that. And this, quite simple to make. So I decided to do three crushing factory. Can do five at a time. And as you can see, it's not even using all of it. Well, this one's been using most of it. The thing I don't understand is it like only drains from this one. It seems it should drain from all of them. And at the top, well, it's been working. Uh, but yeah, what I have is from the farm that we have, it comes here, goes into the crate here just to keep a backup. And then it goes in these two, and this one just does the melon. Uh, and this thing's been working really great. I don't have any problem, as you can see, there's 640 RF going in, in here. So that pretty much means uh, that uh, we're only using about a thousand. These use a hundred RF each. Uh, per tick, so that's not too bad. I've also got an advanced crushing factory here and an advanced factory crushing over there. Uh, but in the last episode, we've done the quarry. Uh, so I've been a busy bee and uh, I think we're gonna go in game mode 3 just to show you a little bit uh, what's happening with the quarry, just to show you what it does. Uh, but we've got pretty much a good amount of material to go along and do more things now. Uh, like 4,000 ingots of iron, 3,800. Like, you can see we've got materials for days. Uh, and this is pretty cool because it's kind of going in the right direction, if you ask me. The only thing I would wish is there was an easier way to do uh, steel. I'm still stuck to doing this. I might do the improved version, but it is still a pain to make because it's like two machines that you need to go through and that take time. So I might have to find a way to automate this pa this pattern. Okay, so what do we do today? Today, well, we are going to use these. Uh, do I have a spot at the bottom for the dark stone? Well, let's see. I do not. So let's make one. We'll use that one here. Perfect. There was some already in the system, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go in Abyssal Craft. Uh, let me put bees. I went exploring again. Y you know me, I explore every day. Uh, so, okay. So, in here I should have the book, the Abyssal, the Necronomicon. Hey, okay, I said it right. And uh, we're gonna go with uh, simple stuff. So, first things first, we're not going to do this next to the base. Because it's going to be a problem. So, we're going to do a couple of things before leaving the base. And actually, we need to go to Ohm Quarry. Ow. Yeah, I have a roof. I stayed here for a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this is my quarry. And these are all the goodies. <laughs> yep. I think we're doing really well. Why do I... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I placed a new drawers here, but I forgot to do insert, so all the basalt is like going into here. I've been trying to remove the basalt because I don't really need it, but I keep getting it. Uh, I don't get a lot of intro this thing here. I think it's because I'm mining. No, I'm mining in the right area. Oh, it's because I don't have fortune on anything. Uh, but these pretty good to get iron, by the way. 
Pornical whore, or that's pretty cool. Uh, but what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go in game mode three just to show you what's happening with the uh, with the mining. So game mode three. Uh, if we go at the bottom, this is everything we've just mined. So it is pretty big mining. At the moment, I'm doing this bit over here from the blue that you see over there to the blue that you see over there and it's gonna go all the way to uh, I believe it's uh, here you see the line it's gonna go all the way to here so it should in theory finish exactly at the same place as this one that's what I was aiming for but it's a little bit hard to calculate when I don't come down here I don't I don't come here I pretty much just change the numbers in the card at the top and this is pretty much what we've, uh, what I've been doing here. Uh, so this thing's been doing great. Uh, let's try not to die. Okay. So yeah, this thing's working great. Uh, but uh, I'm just happy that we're getting like crazy amount of material. I've also been using, uh, been treating this. But I think one in the next step we're gonna have to do is a sand, uh, sand glass factory because we don't have much glass and we need it for a lot of things. Uh, so, all right, let's go back home. I still haven't changed the home home. It should probably be in the big building over there. Uh, for some reason, like my loading of things is working slowly. Uh, here, I've got the large storage crate, which has three not two, but three pages, and this thing's filling like crazy. But mainly it's like iron, copper, and like these normal ones that are filling the whole thing. So, I don't know, I might try to filter those out. Over here, I've been filling these with the ones that they need. Uh, and over here, oh man, I, I, that, that's the thing I need like more glass for. These things, these things need like this also, which is more glass. So it takes forever to do, but uh, it's it's because it's worth it. You can do like all the alloys, and eventually we'll even be able to use uh, where is it the olmium to create like nether stars in the molecular transformer. But all right, back to abyssal craft. Let's try not to get uh, thrown away. So abyssal craft. There's a uh, actually home quarry. We were going there for this, uh, and I got there we go. That's the thing I want. We need the Corallium. There you go, that should be enough. And the reason we need this is because we're gonna need to make a couple of ingots, we're gonna need to make a couple of, of uh, rituals with it, we're gonna need to make stuff with it, pretty much. This is the reason we need it. Uh, I believe I've got like a place there. Did I upgrade it? I don't wanna lose any Corallium, it's uh, eight stacks. Yep, if I put it in, it's gonna get removed. Let's see if I still have some drawers upgrade. I don't think I have. Nope. Uh, so with this, I could probably get two upgrades, put that in there and do this. Do that. All right, so let's go upgrade this. I don't wanna lose it. Uh, it's kind of hard to get and you need to mine at certain areas to get it. So just for this, I think we're going to have an upgrade on there. All right. So now we can, we can go and put those in there. All right. So what do we need this for? Well, we're going to need a couple of these. Uh, these are going to be used to make Corallium infused stone. So let's do this. Let's do that. Bam. Let's do a bunch. And these, well, they're going to go into a furnace. And the furnace is going to give us some crystals. Well, the, the, the crystals that are in there. Uh, yeah, the alloy smelter works. I have been using the alloy smelter for everything. Like, literally everything. Okay, next step. There's other things we need to do with, uh, with other things. <laughs> if that makes any sense not at all i presume um we need to have i don't think i've got it here yeah oh, i do the golden lasso we're gonna take that and we're also going to need monolith uh, i've got some monolith here 
which is going to be used like this. So that's why we need the pearl. We will need a one of these, a one of these, and four of these. So energy collector. Maybe that's not the one. No, that's the one. Monolith stone that we need. Rending pedestal. These I've got no idea what they are. Uh, but we're we're going to do something a little bit different to get power. Uh, than the usual stuff because the thing that normally you would do is you would go where you find a monolith stone Let me show you on the map. I think I had something um, Where was it? I placed the teleport there and I just remove all my teleport because uh, there it is So you see over here. There's like a thing that is in the middle, there's guys that spawn there and when you let them grow into the ground, it they will change the ground into monolith. And there's gonna be big ones with uh, statues like, uh, let's see, statues like those. And these are gonna give you PE or uh, permission something, uh, rituals, information, potential energy. And it says like, you just need to let them grow and they're gonna go like this. But that is not what we're gonna do. We're better than this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna kill stuff. Actually, we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna let our farm actually kill the thing that it wants us to kill. I'm gonna show you what it mean. I mean by that. So, all right, we've got these. So we should be good to go. Uh, the problem with the ritual statues, uh, these is that they give bad effects when you use them. They, they're gonna give you like blindness, they're gonna make the world rain and stuff like that. So you don't want this. All right, so... Okay, so that's the energy pedestal and we need the sacrificial altar. Perfect. So I think this will work. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it will work. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to sleep the night away. Uh, and what this thing does, the sacrificial altar, is it's going to input its power into the energy pedestal next to it. But there's a timer into it. It can do a thousand and then it's going to, uh, it's going to take a minute to reset. So because of that, you, you kind of want to go through the, the stuff quick so you can well how can I explain the faster you get through the time what is not the minute so that you can produce a thousand the faster it's going to go into the minute so you're gonna, it's gonna take less time so you want to do it uh, faster so what we're gonna do oh why is there a hole here hmm I'm gonna do this you're gonna die. And we're gonna fix the hole. Alright, so I know it's a little bit weird. We're gonna place this here. So it's gonna target one of them. It should. It's gonna have smoke coming through it. Oh no, it targeted a chicken. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not a good idea. The chicken is too close. Okay, so... Well, it's still targeted... Yeah, it's still targeted a chicken. I'm trying to target the animals that are dying and not the chicken. Will it still target a chicken? Oh, you see now it targeted this guy. So when... well, this guy just disappeared. Uh, are they too far? There you go. So this one got targeted and this one now has energy. So we're gonna place this guy here and we're gonna place the book on top. So this guy should release energy into the book. Or not. Let's see. Is it targeting something? Ah, oh, it's targeting the ones at the top. No. What is it targeting? It just targeted one. Okay, did you get any energy? Oh, it's because, well, we need to put it on there. Okay, and there we go. We've got 53 energy. So it means that it's pretty easy for me to just get energy because I can just... Let's try. Is it gonna target the chicken? No. Okay. So it's targeting 
now this cow, which I believe what we should do is home uh, spawner, and we're going to do it here, because I think it's going to target them, so let's see, wait, 79, and we're going to go on there. So let's wait a little bit. Let's let's wait like uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 381. So this thing is OP as hell with this because it's going to target a mob. The mob's going to die. It's going to produce power. So this is like super efficient. <laughs> because this thing, by the way, the sacrificial altar, you can upgrade it. Uh, like, we're probably going to do that uh, really soon. You can upgrade it, but it needs PE to do. But this thing takes, like, is really bad. This one's better. And then there's the other levels. But check this out, a thousand already. So this is, like, crazy. Oh, as you can see, this fire, I think it's because it's saying that it's on a timeout. <laughs> so, it's it's waiting a minute or two. So, as long as it does that, you can't get anything. So, alright, well, since this works, uh, let's go to home home. Uh, we can make the ritual here, so there's not going to be an issue with that. What I'm going to do is, since I'm doing these two here, uh, I think I kind of want to keep an area close for magic. I think we're going to go here to do this. So I don't need this. I need another block. <laughs> uh, I think soon I need to have like a jetpack to go faster. It's, it's going to be probably next episode jetpack. Uh, Darkstone cobblestone. Just because I want it to look better than just regular cobblestone. Okay. So if we go in the back and place these in a certain pattern. And the pattern is one year, space two, space two, space two, space two, and then here here, here, and there. Then you take your book and you shift right click. And it's gonna make a ritual assembly table. Oh yeah! So with this we're gonna be able to make this. Which is the thing that we need because with this we can make the Shard of Oblivion. With the Shard of Oblivion we can make the ritual to make the Oblivion Catalyst. And of course the Oblivion Catalyst says sacrifice required. So, of course, we're going to need 5,000 PE, so it's going to take a little bit longer for us to do. But, uh, alright. So, let's start by making this ritual. So, we need Ender Pearl, Diamond, and Blaze Rods. Things that we possess. So, it should be easy. When I think about this, I still haven't made the uh, Enderman farm. So, I'm probably going to run out of... Eh. I'm going to make more than one. Because I believe we need more than one of these. Um, I might be wrong. No, because eventually we'll we'll have to go up. Uh, okay, so... But I don't need eight. There you go. Four should be enough. Alright, we've got this. Uh, and we need blaze powder. We don't have any blaze powder. It's okay, we've got blaze. Alright, Pam, Let's do this. Get, let's go make this beauty. After that, I'm going to make the other ritual. I'm probably going to upgrade the thing to collect. Just so we can uh, process faster. So, alright. Bam. Bam. Uh, oh, wait. That's actually not where they go. Bam. 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 Bam in the middle and I think shift right click <laughs> oh yeah uh, please, please don't burn anything 
No need for a workbench. There we have it. So we've got the transmutation gem. Uh, so like I said, I think we need more because... Yeah, we need more because we need four of those to make this ritual. So, alright guys, I'm gonna continue making some of these rituals. Uh, the reason why we need these rituals is because we need this, the gateway key. So, alright, I'm gonna continue making some of those. I'm gonna make four. Uh, I'm also gonna upgrade our collection area to the next level. And uh, I'll bring you guys back after. Alright guys, so the whole thing is done. And also I'm an idiot. I forgot to check the little balls that we did this thing here. It's written, this item can alter properties of other materials. 10 out of 10. Yes, it's because there's 10 use on it. Uh, I also upgraded the thing over there and my PE book is full. That means we can do this. So the four, bam, 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 bam. This in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't let me. Um... Anywhere needs... Oh, sacrifice required. I <laughs> forgot. Okay, so we're gonna do a little cage just for this guy. Hmm. It's gonna be your cage. And this... Can I now do this? There we go! <laughs> I didn't think it was actually gonna kill the animal, I thought I was gonna have to do it. And there we have it. An oblivion catalyst. Perfect. Okay, so let's go make ourselves a portal. I think I'm gonna place them in the back of the the base. I think it's gonna be cool. Uh, this thing, yeah, it has nothing now. Uh, by the way, you don't need to be next to the altar to gather, so I can leave my book over there and just come back later and it's gonna be fine. So, alright, this is what we go for. Ah yeah, the undead key. So that means new dimension. Ah yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, I gotta be careful, it's true, we've got these. So I can't really put them straight in the back. Uh, I think here sounds like a good place to put portals. Okay, let's put the portal. Bam! Portal! By the way, you can make more than one. So, alright. Let's see what's on the other side. Abyssal Craft. Welcome to the Wasteland. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's like a bunch of bad guys. Uh, it's okay, we've got our stuff. <laughs> There we go, they got nothing on us. I want to kill these big guys. They drop like a hammer. Oh wait, I've never had that thing. Salvage consciousness transmitter. These are kind of good. Alright, we're starting to get monsters attacking us. Abyssal. Dead. 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 Hey guys, come attack me. Hey you, attack me. I said attack me. I said attack me. I think I'm gonna have to use my my weapon. Oh, he's not dropping it. Oh, I forgot. We need a bucket to bring this. Is he gonna drop it? I know it's a low chance. But he drops, like, the hammer that he's holding. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna drop it anytime soon. Hey, let's go to the building over there. There's also this thing over there. I don't I don't remember what's on top. I think there's a chest on top. Alright, let's do... Three. Four. Ah, four. It's not bad. They do have a lot of life, so... And you're like a one-shot.
<laughs> There's so many enemies around here. Okay, let's get in there. So, Corallium Stone, and there's something under. A chest with Transmutation Gem. Oh yeah! Free ones! Of course, when we go to the top... Oh, I thought there was going to be a bunch of people. Uh, there's nothing really impressive except the steel, because, you know, it's free steel, so of course I'm going to grab it. Uh, I need to keep that Abyssal Stone, so we're going to keep it. Uh, zombie can go, this can go. Alright, nice. We're gonna grab some of that. I could go on the ground and there's gonna be more. Uh, but I'm lazy and... You know. Uh, yeah, as you can see, like, there's a bunch everywhere. So it's pretty much easy to grab. I wanna see these things. I don't remember what they are. There's also Corallium here, so we could bring the Builder here and just grab all the Corallium we want. Eh, I'm not interested in you guys. I want to go check out the tower. I don't remember if there's... if there's anything special. I don't think they are. Corallium Cobblestone. I think there's something at the top, which would be a nice thing to... Hmm. I think what I could do... Is uh, if I can look at my backpack for a second. Where is my backpack? Wait, where's my backpack? I don't have my backpack. I don't have my backpack. <laughs> well, these are important because we're going to be able to do stuff with it eventually. Not at the moment. Uh, but alright, let, let's go back home. Uh, I need my backpack. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the backpack went. I had a backpack. Oh, I just middle clicked and it went crazy. Uh, the upgrades for this go in there. This can go also in there. Uh, this. Perfect, okay. Uh, this can go away. <laughs> Alright, so the reason we're doing this is because you need uh, to have stuff from Abyssal Craft to go into Blood Magic, and you also need it to go into Botania a little bit further, and also for Roots, and all this kind of things, it's all mixed up. Bag? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Whew! Uh, the reason I want this is I want my grappling hook. I think we can get to the top with the grappling hook, and of course a couple of blocks. But let's go try this. Uh, I think that's going to be the last thing we do in this episode. Try to see what's at the top of this tower. Just because we're curious, not because we actually need to get to the top of the tower. But I'm happy that we've done this. Uh, the same thing applies in the other dimension. Uh, when you want to upgrade this, you need this, so you need that. So you get the point. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing all the time. Okay, so where was this tower? Was it the tower I was going for? I went that way. Yeah, it's a good that one. There's a bunch of guys in the middle. Let's bypass. Oh, okay. I think we just crashed. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I think we won't be able to use the grappling hook. <laughs> I don't think it works in this dimension. Yep, let's try it a second time. Yep, we can't use it. So that means I would have to pillar up all the way to the top. Uh, but I'm not going to do this. Next episode, like I say, we're going to get into Jazz Pack, which is going to mean we're going to be able to go to the top. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was an Abyssal Craft episode with a little bit of recap at the beginning. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely enjoyed it. Uh, this is useless. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. I might, you know, explore a little bit between episodes. There's, you know, a couple of houses to go see. <laughs> Alright guys, bye bye.